again to keep you know our nose in front of the others. Uh, especially around this region, you know, there are 14, 15 other shows just in Asia Pacific alone. So uh, it's a good job from the team uh, to be able to attract 900 over exhibitors from 50 countries, uh, and 70 percent of these are returning exhibitors, which basically uh, tells us that uh, we we have the stamp of approval of all the majors around the, the world. But at the same time, we're bringing in 30 percent of new companies into the market, new to, new, new to market and new companies who have not exhibited uh, at the Singapore Air Show. We also attract 60 of the world's top 100, space, uh, uh, 100 aerospace companies uh, and this year uh, we have 22 national or group pavilions including for the first time uh, the Japan Pavilion in spite of all the troubles they faced last year they managed to pull together uh, an industry group and also from uh, Ukraine. So we're very, very happy uh, to have them here with us this year. Uh, the entire 50,000 square meter of exhibition, uh, covered exhibition space has been taken up. We've created some additional space. We have managed to work with companies like Ikrut from Russia and Bombardier to build their own private pavilions out outdoor as well uh, to try and you know, uh, maximize uh, um, the area covered uh, that we have uh, indoors. Um, the outdoor exhibit is fully subscribed, 100,000 square meters of it, including almost 70 to 80 chalets uh, um, for hospitality. Uh, and we have over 65 participating aircraft this year. Um, so it's, it's a busy time out there. Um, we're moving aircraft in and out. And today uh, is just about the most busiest day, getting uh, almost 40 aircraft into place. Um, and we have 60 minutes of uh, aerial display on each of the trade days, uh, and then 90 minutes on public days. Uh, as of last night, we've attracted 266 uh, official delegations from 80 countries. Uh, this is far more than what we had uh, two years ago. There are 20 airline and industry association CEOs joining us as well over the next two days. Uh, and pre-registration from yesterday, we've surpassed 22,000 uh, visitors who have pre-registered with us, and we're aiming to hit uh, 40,000 um, by the end of uh, Friday um, from <coughs> over 100 countries. Uh, on a public day, we expect about 100,000 visitors over the two days. This is how they stack up uh, in the hall. Um, if I can only take you, we are here having our press uh, media. So if you face north, um, most of the larger boys are all uh, gathered around here, we have the Singapore Pavilion to your right. Um, we have the U.S. Pavilion uh, grouped here, uh, and a number of other country pavilions all around. Yeah. The chalet line is out there. We have two two rows of chalet line, uh, one facing the sea, the other to our static part. And as you can see, uh, there's quite a busy uh, floor plan out there on the on the static part. Uh, th this is not the final layout, but it's very close to what we, we, we're doing. Uh, the uh, Dreamliner is, is parked here at this moment, and you'll see uh, a couple more bigger aircraft coming in this morning. Uh, this is a 747. Uh, it will come and join us only on Friday, so you won't, you won't see that out there uh, at this moment. Okay, some uh, key highlights. Uh, we have uh, organized a land defense and amend systems pavilion this time, uh, first time uh, for the show. Uh, and what we've done is to sort of integrate a couple of exhibitors together um, and try and uh, you know put them under one roof uh, to uh, support uh, the growth of uh, amend systems uh, in Asia. As you know, it's, it's the second fastest and probably the second largest market now for for amend vehicles in this part of the world. Uh, so we aim to try and uh, uh, grow this pavilion as the years go by. Uh, and uh, together with Ayata, we're also bringing back the Green Pavilion. Uh, the focus this year um, in the Green Pavilion is on uh, alternative fuels and, and all the uh, developments that have uh, been taking place over the last 12-15 uh, months uh, in this area. There's also the uh, Singapore Airshow Aviation Leadership Summit. Uh, th with the theme driving change and overcoming challenges together. Uh, so th those are some of the keynote speakers uh, we have. We'll begin with 
uh, dinner tonight, opening dinner tonight, and the conference tomorrow. Uh, and alongside uh, the summit will be the Asia Pacific Security Conference. Uh, and this conference is largely uh, for the military and academia uh, to come together uh, to tackle issues on uh, geopolitical landscape changes in the Asia Pacific region. And those are some of the uh, key speakers uh, that are here. Uh, so this will open with a dinner reception this evening and then we'll continue with the update conference tomorrow. Uh, three business forums. Uh, China, India, and uh, Southeast Asia, which is the first time we're doing this. Uh, China, I think, interestingly, we are uh, having representatives from China uh, to talk a little bit about their developmental program, obviously, um, you know, um, locally built C919 program, uh, as well as some of the R&D that's been coming out of China uh, and the opportunities uh, that our OEMs can find out there. Uh, India, of course, uh, big, big uh, mystery in that particular market, and we have some very key uh, representatives here to uh, shed some, some more light uh, on the Indian market as well, and then Southeast Asia. Uh, on the area display, um, we have a couple of uh, team aerobatics uh, this year. Uh, we have the from the Republic of Singapore Air Force uh, first integrated F-15 and F-16 display. Uh, and joining us for the first time will be the Royal Malaysian Air Force MiG-29 Squadron, the Smoky Bandits, to so we'll do their uh, introductions that I'll show this year as well. Um, and we are very pleased to welcome back the roulettes from RAAF. Uh, and for the first time uh, in the history of all air shows in Singapore, uh, we're br bringing in uh, Blair Aerosports Rebel 300 uh, to do some stunning uh, stunt performances uh, for our audience. Uh, this is in line with uh, you know uh, Singapore celebrating our 100th uh, centennial uh, celebration in aviation. So we we'll thought we bringing a little bit more uh, interest in in the area of flying. Uh, and uh, USAF, uh, USAF will be having a C-17 military transport across the display. Uh, this will be the daily area display uh, program. Uh, we'll kick off with uh, Singapore doing their team aero display uh, with two ships, uh, and then with the Rebel 300 doing a solo aerobatic. Um, then comes the Malaysian team in the mix. Uh,